No cheesy pun here, just a simple and great tasting way to get you and your kids to eat broccoli. It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Why. To start, set your oven to deep fat fry. You wish. I mean, roast to oblivion at 425 degrees. If I had bought broccoli crowns, I would be chopping the broccoli heads to bite-sized pieces. But since I have bought pre-packaged broccoli florets, I am taking them out and chopping the larger pieces to make them bite-sized and setting them aside for washing. Then I wash the broccoli in the bowl and drain the water using the Snappin Strain Strainer, which is my favorite strainer. To see a full review of the strainer, there's a link to the video in the description. Now that the broccoli is clean and mostly drained of water, dump them into the casserole dish that you are going to use. Any size will work, just depends on how deep you want the broccoli. The key to making it taste good is the seasoning and the oil. My broccoli gets splashed with two tablespoons of oil. Make sure to mix it around as it helps the seasoning stick. Then blast the broccoli with a half a teaspoon of salt one teaspoon garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and finish it off with one teaspoon grated Parmesan cheese mix. Mix thoroughly again. Toss the now well-seasoned broccoli into the blast furnace and set the timer for 10 minutes and get ready to cut the cheese. No, really. I slice a block of cheddar cheese instead of grating it because it takes a lot less work to cut a block of cheese than to grate it. Okay, so it takes even less time to grab a bag of pre-shredded cheese from the refrigerator. But don't do that because, number one, pre-grated cheese takes longer to melt, and number two, costs more per ounce, and we're all about keeping the cost down. What about the grated Parmesan cheese you use? Shh, be quiet. Once the timer is up, take out the broccoli and layer on the cheese. Since my wife is an alien and doesn't like cheddar cheese, I only cover three-fourths of the broccoli with cheese but you should cover all the broccoli with cheese. Let the cheese melt in the oven, which will take about two minutes, and take the now finished cheesy broccoli dish out of the oven. Now all we need is a sucker for the taste test. So let's see what my kids think. Dairy and dairy is good for spice. I wish broccoli was really well in getting rid of all the spice in here with the chicken. And the broccoli is so, tastes all like steamed vegetable broccoli, you ever Broccoli was steamed, but the cheese adds a lot of great flavor. I don't know, the cheese makes the broccoli taste better. The broccoli is very good. It's well seasoned, and everything tastes better with cheese. So, cheese makes it taste better. This time it tasted juicier. For some reason it wasn't as dry as usual. I think that might be better. So, broccoli was good. I like that. Happy Healthy Wild Chef Barry here reminding you to... Wait a minute, you're still here? Well, if so, then you might want to consider clicking on the like button or leaving a comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays with shorts on Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.